July 12th, 2017. And for all you Fukushima believers, and I'm one of them, I've been kind of mocking you up until recently. Just for fun, though. Just for fun. But now I've actually found evidence of what I believe to be what you would expect to find when it comes to radioactive contamination at a genetic level. Here's a, a baby starfish offspring with, as you can tell, one extremely shortened tent tentacle with an ulcer in it and then there's an ulcer on the top center off to the right that doesn't look normal this is the one and if I go up to this one I found another one just recently again it's got an ulcer right there that's not a speck, that's an ulcer, something that has been eaten through from something. And it was in a safe spot, so I don't think it was from rock or anything. That's, that's an ulcer, and it's what the other ulcers look like too. Something very similar to this. Okay, you see that spot? I'm finding them with these spots on them. So it looks like there is some damage that could potentially be being done by this radioactivity. It's not conclusive, but these are not flawless starfish either, and they do seem to have some consistent flaws that, while might be normal, don't appear to be, and they also appear to be fairly fresh um, and ongoing. I doesn't see any sign of healing on any of these ulcers. They just are open. Um, so, for what it's worth... There's a, an example of another juvenile that's not malformed. So there you go, beautiful girl, Dana. There is some contamination damage, I believe, happening. It's just really hard to quantify when everything's a big secret. And if you want things out of the closet, you got to talk, talk, talk. And then you'll find... You've got your answers. Have a good one, YouTube.